Hello, fishy folks, and happy water change Wednesday on Thursday. Uh, I actually filmed this on July 4th. Happy July 4th to all my American subscribers. And thank you for sucking at war, England, for all my English subs. Everyone else in the world, you know what happened. We kicked their ass, so. All right, moving on. Uh, today, July 4th, I'm off, obviously. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of grilling, smoking some ribs, probably doing burgers and dogs because that's the traditional meal. I don't know what else I'm gonna do, but anyway, uh, in the fish room, I'm gonna be doing some maintenance. So I'm focusing in on this sponge filter. If you can see, there's a little bit of bubbles coming out, so it's probably quite dirty. Uh, I know the plecos that are in this tank, there's one right there. Um, they, almost every morning or every night, if I'm down here and I shine a light in the tank, they're sucking on that sponge filter, keeping it clean and eating some delicious goodness. Um, but it's time to clean it because it looks like it's losing some flow. There's a couple other, uh, you know, ones in here that need some flow. Here's one that I recently cleaned and I have the air turned up a little bit. It's probably a little too high for, uh, for the guppies in that tank right now. I'll lower it when I get up there. You know, we got some glass cleaning to do on this one. I gotta take care of some of the rickia. There's a lot of chores to do in the fish room. Just because I don't do manual water changes um, in the fish room, as you know, I have the auto water change system, which we can talk about a little bit if you like. Uh, the auto water change system is quite simple. I'm just gonna quite, just slowly move over here. And there's the, uh, the heart of the system. The three filters, which actually one of those needs to be changed. Maybe I'll change that today also, but essentially uh, those two red lines, one's hot, one's cold, goes into a mixing valve. That mixing valve goes into my uh, three filters, one carbon filter, two, I'm sorry, one sediment filter, two carbon block filters to take out chlorine. And um, I have very little chlorine in the water. I've gone right from the tap into the tanks, no problem. I don't do it often, I only do it if I forget, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, water comes down here. Here I have a spigot to fill uh, buckets or fill tanks. And then we come down here. Here's the uh, other big part of the system. This is a um, irrigation solenoid. So a sol all a solenoid is essentially is an electric switch. Um, you apply power and the switch opens and boom, water flows. And then it goes to this T, and it goes to some distribution over there, and goes to some distribution over there. And if we come over here, you can see right there is the uh, irrigation timer, and that's how everything runs on it. There's some fantastic art up there from Priscilla. Let me sit on that for you. Fantastic. Leopard frog, oh, leopard frog pleco. I can't say it. Anywho, that's the auto water change system. Oh, you might be saying to yourself, well, how does it get in the tanks? Well, let's go this way. So, water comes into this uh, manifold right here and then just flows, hopefully, through blue uh, airline, <laughs> water line flows like this, boom, into the tank. Uh, I do have, you know, like this big pipe right here. That's for this 90 gallon. It gets a little bit more water changes than everything else uh, because there's a lot of poop in this tank. So the other thing I'm gonna be doing today is uh, I'm gonna be cleaning this tank out a little bit, doing some filter work and draining it and refilling it with cold water. And the reason I'm doing that is to help induce spawning. We'll see what happens, folks. While we're back here, let's take a look at this green dragon pleco. Just chilling on the wall right there. See it? Can't wait for that guy to get older and hopefully breed for All right, fishy folks. I'm gonna set the camera up on a tripod. I'm gonna get to work and I'll be back. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, tools of the trade right now. We have the bucket filled with clean, dechlorinated water. We have an empty uh, two-gallon bucket from Home Depot. I did a video on this. Uh, put a link somewhere maybe if I remember. And this bucket is to take care of rickia or other unwanted foliage. Rickia is like the bane of my existence. Some people say it's duckweed. They can't stand duckweed. I could care less about duckweed. I have goldfish, 
Bowfish are duckweed eating machines. I think some cichlids are too, but since I don't have any of them, I really don't know. So what I'll do is I'll take the Ricky out and uh, either put it in other tanks that need a little bit more coverage or just, you know, throw it away, put it in the ponds, take it out of the tank. So let's, uh, let's get to some maintenance, shall we? All right, fishy folks. Uh, eventually this is gonna go fast motion because it's gonna be boring watching me clean stuff. But for now, here's how it goes. So this tank has pothos in it, which is great for taking care of nitrates. But uh, when you gotta clean it, all the roots, the root system makes it a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna take out some of the rickia. The other thing, you gotta be careful if you have guppies, especially little ones, you don't wanna get them caught in the rickia. Or if you, sometimes I put filters or other things in other tanks to hold them. And I've gotten uh, contaminated guppies that way. That sounds funny, contaminated guppies. You gotta be careful with the rickia because it breaks up a lot and then you're just picking up all these tiny little pieces. So, be careful. All right, we're gonna grab this filter. I'll probably change the airline or at least cut the end off because it's hard. These tanks have been set up for well over two years. I might have I might have cleaned the sponge filters in these bad boys once or twice in those two years. That's right, that's all I've done. All right, let's clean the sponge filter. Stand by. All right, sponge cleaning 101. <clears throat> take the lift tube off, take the top part off, take the sponge out. That's the sponge. Make chocolate milk, baby. You can see how dirty the water got right away. That's all fish poop, fish waste, uneaten food, gunk. Want some? It's delicious. So essentially you wanna squeeze it out and then when you squeeze the water, it comes out clear like that. This, uh, this filter actually, I'm not a ginormous fan of these. These are the aquarium solutions filters. The uh, pores are very small. I forgot the actual technical term for that. Porosity, maybe? Anywho, uh, they're very small, so they get clogged easier. I like the, uh, the bigger holes in the foam, if you will. Okay, so then you, you know, when we're done cleaning, you just put it back together. Um, make sure there's no snail stuck in the tubes. Something looks like it's stuck there. We'll see when we put it back together. Need the base. The base is weighted, obviously, to keep it down. And then the lift tube. Uh, the lift tube gives you a marginal better lift. It basically makes the bubbles go up more, which creates slightly more lift. I can't imagine that the lift created by this little lift tube is anything that's gonna change the dynamic of how this works, but people swear by them. If you have plecos, you gotta be careful. Sometimes they get in there and people think they get stuck. They probably don't get stuck, but. All right, now we gotta check that airline, which I'll probably replace it because it's probably from 1912 when I first set up the fish room and we'll go from there. What do you guys think you should do right now? That's right, stand by. All right, fishy folks, we're gonna put the filter back in the tank. Now, I should really try to vacuum this tank out, but to be blatantly honest, there's about 100 uh, fry in here. Um, Japanese blue fry in here. And I'm afraid I'm gonna suck them up, and I don't really wanna do that. So I'm gonna leave them home. Um, one of the reasons I believe my fish are so hardy is I don't keep them in pristine conditions. They are just in whatever condition the tank's in. And in this case, the tank has mold in it, which may cause nitrates. Now, I do have a ton of plants and these pothos plants are nitrate beasts. They just suck up the nitrate like there's no tomorrow. And that's why they grow down to the floor like this one. Um, so yeah, 
I'm not going to do anything with the mum right now, basically because I don't want to suck up fry. So I'm going to try to get some more of this uh, Ricky out, which I'm not really being successful at doing. And then I'm going to clean the glass in this tank because I like to show it on camera. And you guys complain when the glass is dirty, and I don't blame you. I did take a little bit of Java moss out. Just put it in another tank temporarily, really no big deal. It's right there. I'm going to put that back because you want the little babies to have a place to hide. These are some good looking fish, I tell you that, folks. All right, got to get my scraper. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, I did change the airline because uh, the part that was in the water is rock hard and a little expanded from, uh, from being on the tube like that. So I just replaced it. I have 500 feet of airline in both blue and clear. Well, there's not 500 feet left, but I bought it to redo the fish room. And airline is something you're always gonna use. So I buy in bulk when I can. If you have one or two tanks, you may not wanna buy 500 feet. You may only wanna buy 10 feet or whatever you need at the time. Or if you have a local fish store that sells it by the foot, you could just buy what you need. Um, I highly recommend the silicone airline tubing. It does last longer. They all eventually get hard and uh, you'll have to replace them anyway. But uh, back to maintenance, stand by. Here we go. Glass cleaning. Cue the fast motion music. Now, I pulled out this ginormous handful of rickia. I'm not gonna pull it all out because this rickia is sucking up nitrates also. So I just pulled out this handful. There's probably another two handfuls in there. And then if I remember, in a week I'll pull out a little more and then in a week I'll pull out a little more. Even with my auto water change system, I don't wanna stress any tanks by not changing enough water and having enough and having too many nitrates or for that matter any other water parameter that could hurt the fishies. There's your lesson of Rikia today. All right, fishy folks, there's the Japanese blue tank that the glass has been cleaned. I've taken out some Rikia and there's plenty of room for them to swim and eat now. Here's the uh, blue diamond tank, I took out that ginormous clump, you can see how much is still there, of rickia. Um, and I also cleaned the glass, if you focus in right here, you can see I missed a spot, oh well. Really not that concerned, but hopefully it looks a little bit better for you guys to see. Again, these are blue diamond guppies, and these are Japanese blue, some of them have a lower sword tail, actually all of them have a lower sword tail. Every now and again, I pop the one pops out with two sword tails, upper and lower. That's pretty cool. Uh, both these guys are on the website, www.michaelsfishroom.com. And uh, still the July 4th sale, no, I lied. Still the World Cup sale, use promo code World Cup for $10 off your purchase. All right, fishy folks, I'm gonna get to cleaning uh, some more tanks. And uh, I may or may not film that. You may see it in fast motion, you may not. And I'll be back to show you the end results. All right, fishy folks, most of the maintenance for the day is done. Um, we did make a little bit of a mess of water on the floor, but hey, it's a fish room, what are you gonna do? So if you remember, this tank had the hyphen sunset platies. I sold them to a uh, customer of mine in Pennsylvania. Uh, we met at the local Wawa. If you don't know what Wawa is, Google WA, WA. It's a ginormous convenience store. Um, and He's bought fish from me before. I've met him a couple times at different local events. And when I said I was looking to get rid of some of these uh, other live bears besides guppies, he emailed me, we met, and I sold him uh, three different strains of fish. But this was one of the ones I sold him. And uh, what I typically do when I know I'm gonna sell complete colonies, I clean the whole tank out of any foliage, any um, java moss or rickia or floating plants. Then I let everything settle, then I can net everything out fairly calm, calmly. Uh, in this case, that's what I did, but again, the mom in the bottom and my crappy eyesight, because I'm like 106, um, I missed about eight fry. I mean, little tiny itty bitty, little itty bitty, like week old or less fry. I knew there was fry in there because uh, I, by accident, I guess, caught a couple in the bag that I gave them. And, um, I just didn't think anything else survived because there was no cover for them. I was wrong. Uh, so basically, let me show you what I did. 
I was draining the water into this blue Lowe's bucket over here. And when it got full, I stopped and I realized I'm never gonna be able to see the fry with the blue bucket. So I poured everything into the white bucket. And as the mom settles, see if we can see that fish. There's a fish floating near the top. Might be too small to see. Yeah, she's not focusing. Oh, oh, maybe now you can see him, but there's a, uh, there's about eight fry in there. That's probably the biggest one. So, like I said, as that mom settles, I'll net out all the fry, and then I'll dump the water. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do with the fry. I think I'm going to email the customer and say, hey, you coming to Jersey anytime soon. I have some more fry for you. Of course, no charge. So, What else did we do in the fish room, you ask? Well, let's scoot on down to Han and Leia's tank. Uh, we changed out that that box filter right there. We actually changed it. I went. I was just wanted to clean it, but when I went to pull the airline off, uh, it broke the little nipple. So now I have uh, spare parts. What's up, Han? How you doing? That's Han, my Tiger Oscar. That's I don't know. How old is he? Like six months? He went from being like an inch to this size. So it happens when you feed quality food and get lots of water changes. Anyway, and then uh, I'm, I'm guessing that's a female Leia, Han and Leia. She's an albino tiger Oscar. And then in the back is Jabba, the, uh, the common pleco. Yes, I have a common pleco. It's a long story. I've told it before. Anyway, this tank always gets filled with poop uh, because there's a common pleco in there. And I drained out, I don't know, this much water out of the 90, cleaning it out. And uh, I, like I said, I changed out that filter. Um, I'll probably do this filter in about a week, just change out the, um, the floss, the poop-filled floss. Just look at him, he's fantastic. Fantastic. All right, what else do we do? Well, we did the same thing up here with the goldfish tank. Chunky Gold Medina's tank and uh, her pals and a couple of platies. And uh, there's a King Tiger, an L133 King Tiger Pleco in here as well. But uh, I actually added that filter in the back right there. And I cleaned the Japanese box filter. Um, and I vacuumed. And of course, they're still a mess. But uh, what other tanks did we clean? We cleaned a couple over here. Look at this blue snail. Just look. Is that not pretty cool or what? Hopefully those guys will uh, breed. I wonder how you breed snails. And then I'll be selling them. And uh, there's a uh, nice... What's that thing called? Betta for sale. Haha. <laughs> Alright, I'm rambling because uh, I've been filming a lot and working a lot. So, fishy folks. That's it for today. There's a calico bristle nose just chilling on the glass. Um, I cleaned a couple other filters, to be honest. I just don't remember which one, so it's really not that important. Fishy folks, don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com for all your guppy needs. And uh, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. I answer them quite regularly. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, feel free to troll people that leave stupid comments. Really, I don't mind. Have a great day, everyone. All right, fishy folks, you may be saying to yourself, self, why are, is he, why are his he? All right, fishy folks, no, not in frame. Cameraman error, still learning standby. Here we go, glass cleaning. I grabbed the wrong tool. Very silly. Got this one, but yeah. All right, fishy folks. No, that's better.
All right, fishy folks, I did change the airline because this is the airline that was there. It's not focusing. 